Well, welcome back to Big Dog Repair Shop. Um, today, what we're going to do is rebuild one motor out of three. Or should I say, one engine out of three. These are the Kohler Courages. Be right with you. Okay, out of these three Kohlers, 22 horsepower, 20 horsepower, and 20 horsepower. Most of them are blown up. But we're going to use the best parts out of all three. This is the one that came out of that Cub Cadet that I tried weld with that aluminum weld on the back of it that never really worked out. That one there has a problem with the top bearing way. It's all scored. So this will probably be the best. So we'll pick the best out of these three sumps, covers. We'll pick the best out of these three heads. We have three breather covers to pick from. We have all the mountain bolts here. We have valves in the bags. Got all the nuts and bolts that we need. Carburetors, push rods. We're gonna take this crankshaft because that's the best. This has that, some scoring on there. Head gaskets. We have fuel pumps. We got the valve covers. We have pistons. We have the flywheels. We have the timing gears. We have all the electrical that needs to be put on. So we'll pick the best out of it and then we'll start assembling. Okay, so you remember I had three Kohler Courages, 21, 20 horsepower and 19 horsepower that I took apart because all of them had problems. So we're gonna pick the best out of all of them. And what we did is pick the best bucket and all the components that go with it. But the best bucket also has a crack in it where they typically crack. The other ones had other problems that were just too much. So we're gonna weld up this crack. But first, let me tell you, John Clemens, excellent person. He sent me this lavalier microphone it has actually two, one in a box, one on my lapel, and the receiver's on the phone. So I can have two people talk, really, if I wanted. But this little case is also a charging case. What we're going to do is give him a big thank you for sending this microphone. And this is going to be dedicated to John Clem. He has two videos and 111 subscribers. Congratulations, John. Thank you very much. And here we go. Okay, this is the best bucket out of all of them. This one here I'm going to show you. all the scoring inside too much scoring to make it worthwhile trying to fix so this is garbage this actually can be used for a test subject but I'm going to show you where the crack is they're, they're hard to see but if you see where that blue marker is the crack starts here and runs
all the way down here, down to here. and ends down here with a Y crack. So it's not like one traveler. Can you see it? You can see the crack there, and then it ends at the bottom there, splitting off. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna start welding from the crack, all the way back to the front, the top. Now, before we weld it, before we start welding, we're gonna clean it as good as possible. possible. Then, we're gonna go ahead and groove out that crack to where it ends from the beginning to the end. Now, when you do that, you have to use a dedicated stainless steel brush, a dedicated stainless steel cutter, and don't use anything chlorinated to clean it with. What I use is alcohol. I'll use this alcohol. It's cheap for a cleaner. And I do have dedicated brushes and dedicated cutters to clean everything. All right, let me get set up and I'll be right back. You need a dedicated tool. I have a dedicated carbide tip to clean where I'm going to be welding. You want to put a slight little divot in there so you can, when you do add the filler in there, it'll fill that crack. And the fact that this is so thick and it's cast, you need a lot of heat. Then you got to use a little bit of alcohol for a cleaning agent. Let that dry. Once we put the heat to it, it'll dry right up. All right, so I'm going to put my uh, helmet on. You need a dedicated tool. I have a dedicated carbide tip to clean where I'm going to be welded. You want to put a slight little divot in there so you can, when you do add the filler in there, it'll fill that crack. And the fact that this is so thick and it's cast, you need a lot of heat. So you need a dedicated brush too, wire brush made out of stainless steel just to clean any particles that are in there clean them all up we're gonna weld a short piece here and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish welding it and then I'll show you the finished product so with dedicated tools for aluminum like this cutter you have to make a wedge in your casing. So you can follow the crack. And fill the crack. So, this is a dedicated cutter for aluminum. I got a dedicated wire brush, stainless steel for aluminum.
once you get any kind of dirt or anything like that or you know different metals you're going to get all kind of porosity put our helmet on we've got it set for 13 for the glass tint get our foot pedal in position I'm just going to do this a little bit right here on top. I'm a little too close. You have to position yourself where you're comfortable to do a good weld. shut you off and do the rest of this or maybe I'll leave you out. Let's see. Because I got to do a lot of positioning and stuff. Try this. I'm going to have to stand. Okay, because I'm getting so close to the end, I want to weld from the end in. So I'll turn this a little bit. There you have it. Let me just show you a little close up on this. So we weld it from there to cast aluminum is so dirty that you can't really get a nice looking weld. So all I have to do now is do this top section. I got to make a V there and weld a little on top of that. And then I'll flatten that out for the gasket. And I have to finish this weld here. All right then, let's get cracking. Well, there you go. Being it's cast aluminum with all this impurities in the metal, it's not a bad job. 
It's not the best job, but not bad. I wish I had one sixteenth wire. I had one eighth wire. Okay, this one's done.